Take a moment to visually explore this remarkable piece of calligraphy. Notice the monumental characters formed by powerful, incisive brushstrokes. The Chinese have always believed that a piece of calligraphy reveals the character of its author. This masterly example certainly conveys the impression of a forceful and direct personality, someone able to express his ideas with boldness and conviction. This poem is the only known work by the great 13th century statesman Yelu Chutai. At this time, Mongol Khans occupied much of northern China, and their rule was often extremely harsh. Yelu Chutai, descended from a non Chinese royal family, managed to become a trusted advisor to the Khan. He courageously used his position to become an advocate for the welfare of the Mongols' Chinese subjects. Most famously, he persuaded the Khan to tax the local people rather than slaughter them in order to create pasture land. Yelu Chutai wrote this poem for a young official whose just rule in a time of exploitation he wholeheartedly praised. Only the few thousand people under your care are secure, he writes. How can despotic officials and corrupt underofficials not but feel ashamed? Poem of Farewell to Lu Man, Yelu Chukai Kitten, dated 1240, not on view. Yelu Chukai played a pivotal role in mitigating the harsh rule of the Mongols over the occupied territories of North China. A trusted advisor to both Chinggis Khan and his son Agudai, he introduced fiscal reforms and an amnesty for tax debts. Unfortunately, many of his administrative reforms were short-lived. The blonde, monumental writing on this hand scroll, with its emphatic hooks and dots and square character forms, recalls the unrestrained style of Huang Tingjian, 1045-1105, a northern song master who advocated driving every brush stroke with full force, the poem lauds the virtuous administration of a young official in an era of widespread exploitation and reflects Yellow's own attempts to institute more humanitarian policies. Half the population of Yunzhong and Zuand have fled their homes. Only the few thousand people under your care are secure. You are among our dynasty's most able administrators. Your good name is as lofty as Mount Tai. On the 16th day of the 10th lunar month in the winter of the Jiangxi year, Lu Man of Yangmen requested that I write a poem on the eve of his departure. I wrote this for him in admiration of his administrative ability. Abusive officials and wily functionaries should feel ashamed. Yu Quan, Yelu Chuke. Title, Poem of Farewell to Lu Man, Artist, Yelu Chuke, Kitten, 1190-1244, Period, Yuan Dynasty, 1271-1368, Date, Dated 1240, Culture, China, Medium, Hand Scroll, Ink on Paper, Dimensions, Image, 14 and a half x 111, 3 slash 4 in, 36.8 x 283.8 centimeters, Overall with mounting, 15 inches x 37 feet 7, 11 slash 16 in, 38.1 x 1147.3 centimeters. Classification, calligraphy, credit line, bequest of John M. Crawford Jr., 1988. Accession number, 1989-36317. Will China ever see another? Ye Lu Chu Tai. Six foot five, his beard reached the ground. If you kill the people today, he told his Mongol overlords, who will pay your taxes tomorrow. In this way, he saved entire cities. They laid you to rest by Kunming Lake, and there you would have stayed. But for Mao's Red Guard, who destroyed your peace, where is our Ye Lu Chu Tai? Today, who will lead us out of the dark?